morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is maya and thank you guys so much for tuning in again i don't know where to look i'm looking at the mirror in front of me but um all right so today's video let me look in the camera today's video is a little bit different i am getting ready to go show a um luxury client or a luxury home to a luxury client i guess so i figured i might as well do a get ready with me and talk about how i pass my real estate license my real estate videos do do a little bit better than my other videos so i just figured i'll just go ahead and plus this is going to be helpful as well so all right i did my foundation and i'm about to do a teeny bit of eyeshadow because i had a rush and just a disclaimer i am not a makeup artist i do not know much about makeup i know how to look a little cute and that's about it all right so i'm just gonna hop right into it so i'm gonna start off with what i um wish i had known or what would have helped me so what would have helped me with the state exam itself was um mindset if i really knew just how much how many hours it took to do the state exam and the type of questions so it, the i live in georgia and i took the georgia uh state exam and i believe georgia has the longest um out of all the states the longest state exams it's a total of 157 questions or 160 something like that and it's four hours long compared to like in new york where it's only like 70 questions and it's not nearly as long as four hours so yeah and the type of question so it's very tricky um i passed the state exam like not sorry i passed the national exam which is the one you take before the state exam um not super easy but it was not nearly as tricky the questions weren't as nearly as tricky as the ones that i got on the state exam so the state exam they ask you questions right they ask it in such a way that Three out of the four answers sound so correct, but you have to get the most correct answer if that makes sense. So it really makes you think and uh, you absolutely have to know what it is. So how did I prepare? I took the exam a total of four times, y'all, four times. When I remember the first time I went, I think that I was the only person there that was there for the very first time because I heard the girls talking and one was like, oh, I was, I took the state exam. Uh, oh, this is my fifth time. This is my third time, my second time. And that just kind of like shook me up because I was a little bit confident. You know, I was confident in myself. And, but when I heard that, I was like, oh, is it really that hard? And I'm already a horrible test taker. I get a lot of anxiety. I don't do good with tests itself. No matter how good I know it, just, I always second guess myself. I don't know why, but I, I do have that uh, trait, unfortunately. But okay, so the reason why I passed on the fourth time is because I already knew what to expect. And then I set a very um, structured schedule. I downloaded this app on my phone called, um, or downloaded this course called Prep Agent, I believe. And it's just a crash course to help you um, get prepared for the exam, pretty much. So when I took the um, previous exams, they showed me what I needed to work on. So for example, I was not the best at math, but I did good in contracts, or I wasn't the best in uh georgia law but i was good in like closing so i knew i had to focus on math especially in georgia law and there was a lot of georgia law questions in the georgia state exam so yeah so i would make sure that i studied at least two hours to four hours a day so i first did vocabulary because once you understand the vocabulary you will understand the question a lot better so uh, focus on a lot of the big definitions, I should say, or words that will come across frequently, that you will hear frequently. Uh, yeah, so that will help. And um, yeah, so 
I focused on vocabulary and then I went to do a lot of practice exam questions. Now that helped me tremendously because when I ended up taking the exam, they were a lot uh, similar. They were like very, very similar to what I practiced. So yeah, just doing it twice a day, sorry, just doing it two hours a day, do four hours a day. I would do it before I go to work or after work. You know what I'm saying? Just stick it to that schedule helps. All right, so vocabulary, crash course, um, strong schedule, that's really what helped me as well. Secondly was mindset. Like I just decided like, hey, I already took it three, I already took it three times already. You know, if I fail, I fail. If I pass, then, you know, good job. So I just kind of like eased my nerves and I was like, I'm not gonna give up regardless. So yeah, I just went in with a, a great attitude. I was a lot more prepared. So that helps as well. And then, yeah, so that, my mindset helped me out tremendously. Like I just calmed my nerves down. And I was like, you know what, like, hey, you know, you're gonna get the, the lessons eventually. So, you know, let's just take the exam and do the best that we could. Um, all right, so when you get to the exam itself, um, the testing center, you can only bring your ID. You need two, two forms of ID and then a calculator. I think that's all you're allowed to walk in there with. So I know that was how it was in Georgia. So I would say, hey, that probably is pretty much how it is um, all over. All right, y'all had to do my eyeliner. It's a little bit uneven, but I'm gonna fix it later. All right, yeah, so like I said, you walk with your two forms of ID and your calculator. Um, so what helped me in the testing room egg itself was I put in the little earbuds that they provided. That way it's like even more, I mean, it's already quiet, but it just canceled out everything. I was completely in my head, in my zone, so that helped me tremendously. Um, another thing that I would say um, to help when you're actually in the room, so my testing, the nearest testing uh, center was in Savannah, which is about two hours away from me, so I had a, a, you know, a long drive. What I did was I did not drink a lot of uh, water or anything before so that when I did get there, obviously when I get there, I'm gonna have to pee, but uh, like in the actual testing facility, I did not want to take a break at all. Even though it's four hours, you only get like a um, five minute pee break each time. And if you take longer than five minutes, then you're you know in trouble. I did not want to risk it, you know what I'm saying? So you can't walk with your phone in there, so you can't type what I'm gonna pee for. So I had to make sure that I was dehydrated and I did not have to pee so that I didn't, you know, run into that risk. So yeah, another thing I would say before the exam is to make sure that you are well rested. One time, I think the second time I took it, I wanted it so badly that I stood, I stayed up all night trying to like do as many practice exams as possible and read over all my definitions and just cram, 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 cram. And, um, I went to bed like at two, I had to get up at like five or so. And honey, when I said I was so exhausted, that was like the worst possible thing that I can do, that I could have done. My sister was like, don't cram, don't cram. I was just like, uh-uh, I'm going to. I have to, <laughs> I have to, um, you know, pass. But yeah, I should not have done that. So please be well rested. Um, Any other tips let me see all uh, right so let's talk cost um the cost of the state exam here in georgia was 121 dollars, which is not super bad but you also have um let's say you do pass the exam um the license itself is 170 so you have 121 and 170 so yeah, almost um three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, so I would say make sure you um save up for that. Another thing that was that cost me for another expense I had for the state exam was I had to do a background check. Now what I did was I knew that I was gonna go to Keller Williams when I first got on, so they told me what I would need for 
um to get my lessons right away so you can't get your lessons unless you um choose you we already chose a broker so i don't remember what the exact documents were that they had to give me like i had to just to show proof that hey keller williams um is gonna you know hire me on or take my lessons because you know a broker has to uh hold your lessons for you so yeah i um got my documents from keller williams so whatever brokers you're gonna be with get your documents and forms from them and then you need a background check so you need a background check that's at least um whoops you get a background check that that's i think like 30 days or 60 days prior so i just got mine at the week before and um it has to be clean of course i think um but yeah, so, and my background check only cost me $10. So, total expense, you need $10 for the background check and $121 or whatever. You need background check money, um, set exam money, and license money. License money only if you're going to get the license right away. I did not want to take that two-hour drive again just to get my license, so I made sure I had the money to get my license the day of and all of my documentation to get it the day of as well. So, yeah. All right, y'all, I hope I pretty much um, went over everything. Just to recap, just to recap, just to recap um, one more time. Like I said, um, what really helped me was the crash course in setting a pretty structured schedule every single time. And I had set my set exam like a month and a half before I got my crash course, so I, so like a total of like five to six weeks um yeah so you know set your save exam a, like a good bit out and then like have at least a month or three to three weeks to six weeks to study depending on how good or bad you are at um, taking tests so yeah i scheduled my exam i did the course and stuck to my schedule and i um Focused on the areas that I know that I was going to need um, the most work in. Ooh, let's get rid of this line, honey. Um, But yeah, another thing that really helped me is the coach at the time that I was uh, working with, he gave me a really good um, tip to do in the actual test um, center. He told me to do all the questions that I knew first. And then, of course, you're going to bookmark the ones that you don't know. So I did those that I didn't know second. And then I did all the math questions last. And I think that that also helped me out tremendously. Because the first time when I did it, the first time I did it, I wanted to get every single question right away. And then the ones that I didn't know would, like, just stomp me pretty much. And then I would waste, like, 20 minutes on this, this math question and then I would just lose my momentum and then I would get discouraged and then that would just miss me all the way up. So do all the ones you know first, the ones that you don't know second and then all the math questions last and you'll be good to go. All right, y'all, so my hair is done. It's just a little slip up on tail. I am ready and I'm about to go. I just kept it um, pretty simple. Um, dark lips regular eyeshadow eyeliner i'm not gonna do any lashes today but um yeah i'm about to go get dressed but thank you guys so much for watching please if you have any more um real estate related questions about anything i'm feeling you but i love to help because i wish i knew a whole lot more before i got into it so whatever i can do to help just go on and comment down your questions below and i will answer them as fast as possible and to the best of my ability but yeah thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye Family. Sorry. Julie is so lucky today. She got to meet Little Lion's family. And now she gets to meet Push Baby's family too. But Push Baby is not alone. There's Bush Baby's father. Can you say it again? Don't, don't.
Come. Come, come, come. Ah. No. We don't hit. Oh. Oi. Oi. So now we have learned brother and what? Well done. Hey. Our show is over. You did so good.